Donald Trump's decision to leave out any mention of guns or gun violence in America in the wake of yet another horrific mass shooting earned him immediate plaudits from many media commentators. Analysts on CNN seemed particularly impressed by Trump's brief televised address, which conveyed very little sense of anger or outrage that the United States routinely and uniquely suffers through deadly rampages. Specifically, Trump did not use his address to call for action or measures to prevent future mass shootings the way he did following previous deadly shootings involving Islamic extremists. Nonetheless, pundits announced Trump had struck the perfect chord by not mentioning gun violence following the deadliest mass shooting in modern American history CNN 10022017 10.57.14.mp4 John King is someone who covered the White House for 10 years through two different presidents who's been in town for almost 30 years now, that was pitch perfect. Poppy Harlow this is the time to bring the country together. That is exactly, John King, what the president did with those remarks. This is not a time for politics, nor did he inject them at all into those remarks. CNN White House correspondent Jeff Zeleny echoed King's claim that Trump's comments were pitch perfect as did CNN's political director, David Chalian it's everything you'd want to hear from a president of the United States. He added, I agree with what John and Jeff were saying, this was certainly pitch perfect. CNN wasn't alone. CBS News stressed that Trump's guns free message had been uplifting. The president was really choosing here to deliberately speak in an uplifting tone, Edmund Brennan says of press. Trump's remarks, pic.twitter.comh82y76sbrm, CBS News at CBS News October 2, 2017 Bloomberg Business Week Editor-in-Chief Megan Murphy stressed that Trump came across as humble and religious during his address and that he appeared shaken. And she even seemed to praise the fact that he left out any mention of guns, remarking that his statement was notably devoid of the politics of guns. A somber and visibly shaken Trump addresses the nation after Las Vegas shooting. At Megan Murphy's in https://co47 uf0p8f92pic.twitter.comdebx6mch Bloomberg Politics at Politics October 2, 2017 Republicans, in conjunction with the National Rifle Association, regularly insists that gun rampages are not the right time to talk about gun violence in America or what legislative actions might be taken to reduce the number of deaths. Much of the corporate media seem to agree with that twisted idea.